Bam. All right, guys, I lost. Let me put my spotlight on. I lost a big crappie at the boat haul ago. I don't know if I'm going to show that to y'all or not. Y you ever seen a grown man cry? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. He got to the surface and flopped on, you know, at the, at the water, and that was it. He's about 12. Still fooling with his camera, guys. Y'all might see a video coming up. This is the banana blue. Y'all might see a video coming up, and you're going to say, Dennis, you're holding the fish too close, whatever. I loaded the clips last night. I fished yesterday, and I loaded the clips yesterday evening. And uh, they look fine on the computer, but I would not put them in the software. They, they look smaller. So my son's coming to visit me. He's a graphic designer. He's coming to visit me Wednesday and Thursday for Thanksgiving. So... Uh, I'm gonna sit down with him and see if we can't figure out what's going on. I think it's in the software I'm editing with. I think because it looks fine. I got the camera on a wider angle. Y'all should be able to see that death finder of me standing here, and that's what I was trying to do. Yes, I had the death, death finder on an angle like that where y'all could look and see, see that group of fish. Yeah, they stopped for a minute, so I'm throwing at them. I'm chasing the open water fish, as y'all can tell. I'm out in the middle of the lake, and uh, the channel is right here. And it's about 18 foot. I'm on the edge of a channel where it's sloping down to the channel. And that's what I'm, oops, I just had one after me. Got him. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm running around for schools. Uh, sometimes you get one, you catch one out of school sometimes. One. And they leave. They move. So that school might not be there when I go back up there. But I've got my, my remote in my hand down here. I'm going to tell you what, this banana blue just works. That's a nice fish. You see how fat they are? Well, what they're doing is they're, they're eating plenty of shad, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, guys, the school got behind me because the boat's spinning around the wind. It's a little breezy today. I was off today. Boss let me off, and the next two days, I'm going to work on my house inside. I got some things in my house I want to work on, so I wanted to get out today and, and try to fish. And... The reason I'm going to work inside of my house the next few days is a call for rain. Donnie, I seen what Donnie's put on there. He's been hunting because it fell out of his mouth. I'm going to have to sharpen that hook. That uh, it's going to rain. He's going to try to get out there. Well, that same rain's coming at us. It's in Tennessee right now. I looked this morning. That's a nice fish, guys. So, I'm trying to get here where y'all can see. Like I say, sometimes y'all probably watching my videos going, Dennis, what are you trying to do? Well, that's a nice fish, guys. He's about at 13 inches. Look how fat he is. Thick. Woo-hoo. Fat. Wow. Well, uh, this camera, I'm trying to get used to a new camera. Uh, this is the 10. He come up and jumped and said, bye. And what, I keep holding the fish in the middle, and I realize that the camera, where it films, is on this left side. <laughs> I look down right now, I go, hold it in the middle. I ain't doing any good. Then you go have a little left. Uh, I've been adjusting on the angle of the lens and the width of it. I had it, I thought, plenty wide enough yesterday. Like I said, I edited the video last night. I didn't like it. So hopefully my son can help me correct that because I think the clips are fine. So I made it wider for today, all right? Now look, you can see the fish right here. All right, they're sitting still. They're back there. I'm throwing backwards. Now, y'all notice I'm still using this uh, eighth ounce head. I got him in a 16th. I think I told you I had him eighth and a quarter. I got him in a 16th and eighth and a quarter. When I found him, I jumped on him, guys. I knew I knew what I could use him for. And I ran across him by luck. I was in a bait shop. I said this in a couple videos. I'll repeat it because not everybody watches every video. I was in a bait shop and seen him, and it's called a live bait hook. It's made to put minnows on and vertical jig with. Well, I looked at it and went, man, that short shank number two hook be perfect for in the wintertime when the bass are schooling and i'm throwing at them and they're moving some and I, it'll sink faster that'll work perfect for that so i bought a couple packs of each one of them they're not cheap either guys but there you go see it works perfect when you're out there in that deep water and i'm throwing that far 55 feet perfect for that love it now guys i fished for half an hour and never caught a fish i just run around looking for them i then threw at a couple schools that were moving so fast that i never got a bite out of them 
by the time it fell they was you know a little bit behind them this school stopped if you find a school that stops you can catch a few out of it okay y'all can tell from here they're still sitting there bam this banana blue i'll tell you something else i was throwing another color starting off with too and i'd done good with that color yesterday i made a video with that color yesterday and i thought maybe they want something different today that's a nice fish ain't anything wrong with that one I caught babies in, June, in August and September. I don't think I caught, but I probably didn't catch but 10 fish over, over uh, 11 and a half inches. I caught a lot of 9 to 11 and a halfers probably. But, uh, I've been out here three, almost three days in a row. Yeah, I reckon I have been out here three days in a row. <laughs> three days in a row. And uh, I had to think about, think about that a minute, guys. And I've caught fish. All right, they're right there. I caught fish, nice fish, all three days. Bam, this is a different school, guys. My boat keeps spinning around, and I'm just, as my boat spun around, I just took and looked over here, and here's a school boat. You can see them here, they're about 25, 30 feet from me. And I had to bounce it around in them, get them to hit me. A little, a little smaller, they're about 10 inches. Oh, uh, they done took off now, now they're, it was right here, right there they are. Now, some of y'all gonna say, Dennis, why are you throwing them at 55 foot? They're easier to catch at 55 foot, guys. They're not spooky at all. As you've seen, I caught three out of that school uh, at 55 foot, no problem. Three cast, three fish. When they get closer than 30 foot from you, they're harder to catch. They can hear the trolling motor sitting there running. It's on spot lock. They can hear it. Wildlife Adventure Sam made a video this summer and put his GoPro in the water. You can hear that trolling motor. You know, you can hear it running. And, uh, oops, there you go. Anyway. Uh, I just noticed my bars are a little tight. Anyway, uh, yeah, you could you could you could hear that, that trolling motor running, and guys, <laughs> they know something's wrong. They get a little skittish, and they might you might get close to them, but they're not going to stay there. You get them at a distance like that, and I can catch four or five out of school before they leave. Look here, they're still there. There they are. See my hand was pointing over there. See. Now they're at 70 foot, 65 to 70 foot. So they moved a little bit and I can throw this that far. Now I might, re I might try to get 50 foot from them again, but they're moving along slowly. They're not sitting still very long. If they stop, it's for a very short time. Bam. All right guys, been a little bit. I did move the boat some and uh, I threw it at this school. This school kept I threw it to school, I bet you, six, seven times. I got a bite every time. Sometimes when you get those bites, guys, I can see them coming out of the school and falling it and snapping at it. A lot of times, they're not hitting it like they really want it. This one came up made that turn. He's not very big. He's probably 10 inches. <laughs> I can... <laughs> hey, <laughs> there's times I love to have a 10-inch one. <laughs> That's a 10-inch crappie. woo -hoo! You know what I'm saying? I've caught some decent ones today. When I'm coming across that school, let me see if I can go up here and find them. There they are right here. When I'm coming across the school, if I can see my bait, sometimes I can't, but I see the fish start moving, and I keep reeling, and I see them shuffling, then I see one come out from the school, following it, and if he makes an upturn, all of a sudden he turns and goes up, that's usually, they're smacking at it, and they, that's usually they grab it good. When they're just following it, you'll feel them, bump, bump, bump. And you set the hook and ain't nothing there. And I, I don't think they're, I don't think they want it. I think they're just mouthing it. And sometimes you get lucky and hook them. But I think, I think a lot of times they're just, uh, that's what they're doing. They're biting that tail. They're just biting that tail like that. Let me see if I can catch another one out of school. 55 feet. So that's perfect. I love them at 45, 50, 55 feet. That's perfect. I can throw it that far. They don't know I'm here. They're not paying any attention to me. Anything I've gotten closer than 30 feet, I don't get but one cast at them. If I catch one of them, they're gone. Uh, when I'm doing that, so my bait should be on the bottom. I'm going to pop it up one time. Now, I've watched it sink. It sinks pretty fast. That's 10 foot. 10 foot, count of four or five, it's on the bottom. And I'm just reeling it slow. Now, I don't see them moving. I'm watching them. I don't see them moving. don't see them doing anything. Let me get a little closer for y'all can see it a little bit better. So, I don't know how close I am. I don't see my bait. Should be past them now. All right, and that's what I'm doing. If I, if I don't see my bait, I don't see anything happen, I reel it in. At that distance, guys, you can be off five or six feet, and that's it. That's easy. I'm using my handle right here. 
All right, right, get a good signal. I'm going to write down my handle. That's what I'm doing, okay? That's how I'm getting it to them. Sometimes I see it fall, sometimes I don't. Now, I can turn the sensitivity up, and I can see it every time. I don't like all that fuzz all over everything. So I got it down. I'm, I can turn it up a little bit, all right? It don't take much. Now, now you see it's like it's raining. See all the little flickers? That's what I don't like. I know a lot of people say they like that. They want to see everything, and that's fine. I don't like it that busy. I'd rather watch the fish. I can watch them and tell by their movements whether my bait's there or if they're interested. Bam. Wow, come on. Now guys, I had something break my line the last cast. So I had to put a new head on, new jig head on. I went to a different jig head this time. I had a guy about two years ago give me some jig heads. Gave me a bunch of different ones, and they're really nice. Now come on in here. I've used a bunch of them. He's fighting hard all the way. You're a decent fish, buddy. I don't have a four pound test in this rod. I thought I had six. And I record what I put on rods because you know, I got, time you do six or eight bass rods, six or eight crappy rods, it's hard to keep up with it in it. That is a nice fish. I thought he was fighting hard. Let me get this some so y'all can see this. Let me move my camera just a touch too, guys. All right. Like I said, I'm still learning this camera. It's gonna take me a while. All right, there you go. See how this head is shaped? Yeah. It's like a little horse head. That's a nice long fish. He's longer and you know, he's that from belly to back as thick as some of them. He's long though, isn't he? He's probably 12 and three quarter. Still sitting in the same area, guys. I'm just not doing a bunch of moving, doing more casting than I am moving. Oh, bam. I think for the winter, I'll go back and put six pound on this rod, though. This my this rod's a little heavier than my Dominkies. This is a Fenwick rod. My, I love my I love those uh, Dinellis, though. They're light action. This is not a light action. I think this is a light... Yeah, it says it's a light action. But it says 1 16th to 3 8th. I think they say less than that. I think 1 16th to 3 8th. That's a little heavier. I think the other ones are up to... And they too, but I think they're lighter. They're, they're definitely much lighter. They got a lot more tip than the Nellies do. But I bought this rod five, six years ago. And I used it for bass fishing too. You know, I used it for throwing uh, uh, light stuff, like one eighth ounce slider heads, Charlie Brewer slider heads. And I'd put like a four inch slider worm on it or a slider grub. And I had, I had like three of these rods. I done through the years, and I done broke the other two up. <laughs> they break pretty easy on the bass, but they're great for, for I had six pound tests on them. They're great for six pound tests and fishing light baits for bass and stuff. But uh, it's got some tip, you see here, it's got some tip. But those Dinellis have a lot more tip. And if I put this same bait on that Dinellis, they feel like it's a little too much for them. And guys, I'm gonna try to catch a, I was going to try to catch a decent fish to end with, but I'm just going to end on whatever size this is. As long as it ain't a white perch. Oh, that's a baby. I think he's wore out. No, he's a decent one. <laughs> well, look, when you catch them 50 feet from the boat, it <laughs> don't take long to wear them out. <laughs> they get one like, oh, please lift me out of the water. He's probably the smallest one I've caught today. He's probably nine and a half. All right, but I've caught some good ones today, guys. Now, Sam's brother was catching them on this blue, banana blue. The banana blue so far has been my favorite. <laughs> Y'all see me here today just catching them because this water's about four foot visibility. Maybe maybe five some places. We're, uh, we got a little color, I think, from the water being colder. Uh, we have had a lot of wind. I think it's washing some dirt off the banks. But it's still four, four and a half foot visibility. All right, guys, there you go. Fishing the, one of the banana color, banana blue. Don't have a name for any of these things yet. We got banana pepper on the site. Now this bait's not on the site. Somebody's gonna ask me that. Banana pepper is on the site. These new colors, banana blue, banana pink, uh, banana lime, the banana lime work good too. They will be coming. And I think we're gonna put them under a new series. We got the LC Shad, we got hot tails, right? I think we're gonna put them under banana hand. Yeah, Google that one time. All right guys, appreciate y'all. Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. See you next time.